fact. We know more about outer space than we know about the deep sea, and that's mostly because of the inherent difficulty in exploring the depths of the ocean and partly because we're extremely terrified of what's down there. Today we're going to be looking at 10 mysterious deep sea creatures caught on camera. Number one is said to be a real life serpent, so do watch out for that one. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Barrel Eye Fish. The deep sea is a mysterious place home to even more mysterious creatures, and the barrel eye fish is definitely one of them. How mysterious is it though? Well, let's just say that all we know about this deep sea dweller is based on speculation. This fish has a transparent head. Inside that head are two sensitive barrel-shaped eyes which are most frequently pointed upwards, allowing the fish to see silhouettes of its prey. As for the clear head, scientists think this feature may simply allow the fish to collect just a little more light which may give this strange animal a bit more of an advantage over its competition. The barrel eye fish wasn't even known to humans until 1939 when it was pulled from its habitat 762 meters below the surface. Even then, the specimens were less than ideal because they collapsed and the pressure changed from deep to shallow. Now that researchers have access to deep diving remotely operated vehicles equipped with lights and cameras that can withstand the pressure, they are able to observe the barrel eye far more closely. And yet, this odd fish still holds so many secrets, leaving scientists puzzling over its life cycle and reproduction patterns. Number 9. The Black Sea Devil The problem about deep sea creatures is, well, obviously, you almost never get a chance to see them. It is very rare for any of these creatures to get their chance in the spotlight. But back in late 2014, one of these creatures, namely the Black Sea Devil, got its chance to be in the limelight. A team using a remote-operated vehicle in the Monterey Bay Canyon spied this 3.5-inch long black sea devil about 1,900 feet deep. The scientists were then able to bring her up to the surface alive, which, mind you, is no easy feat, and have been monitoring the fish ever since. Now, let me first explain just how difficult it is to keep a deep-sea fish alive when you bring it to the surface. Due to the difference in pressure, almost all deep-sea creatures do not survive and turn into mush when being brought to the surface. This extraordinary achievement naturally has got scientists very excited. This fish has always been shrouded in mystery. And you know what fish scientists plan to study first? It's how the fish uses its dorsal fin to swim. Always start with the basics, I guess. Number 8. Blood Belly Comb Jelly when it comes to most deep sea creatures, filming them in their natural habitat, although very difficult, at least isn't impossible. Modern submersibles come equipped with super powerful lights, able to illuminate even the darkness of the deepest depths. The main problem is, videos taken at this depth isn't really accurate as most light wavelengths are invisible down there. And because of that, the next animal on our list becomes virtually invisible in its natural environment. The Bloody Belly Comb Jelly lives at depths ranging from 984 to 3,320 feet. And aside from having a very catchy name, at those depths, all red light gets filtered out, rendering this amazing creature almost invisible to the naked eye. Even its glowing red belly is invisible, enabling it to go undetected by both prey and predator alike. It is speculated that one of the reasons why the Bloody Belly Comb Jelly's belly glows red may be to conceal the prey it is digesting. For if a predator were to come along, the reflections of the jelly's own light would otherwise reveal his location and identity, making for a very easy target. But of course, all that is pure speculation. Like with all deep sea dwellers, little is known about this mysterious creature with the catchy name. Bloody Belly Comb Jelly Belly Willy. Yeah, try saying that five times fast. Number 7. The Giant Squid The Giant Squid remains largely a mystery to scientists despite being the biggest invertebrate on Earth. The largest of these elusive giants ever found measured 59 feet in length and weighed very nearly a ton. However, their inhospitable deep-sea habitats has made them uniquely difficult to study, and almost everything scientists know about them is from carcasses that have washed up on beaches or been hauled in by fishermen. Lately, however, the fortunes of scientists studying these elusive creatures have begun to turn. Dr. Nathan Robinson, alongside Dr. Edie Witter, captured the first ever footage of the giant squid in U.S. waters. This is only the second time the giant squid has been filmed in the wild. The first time was in 2004 when researchers in Japan took the first images ever of a live giant squid. It might be hard for us to understand why scientists are so excited about a video just a few minutes long, but even some short footage could further unravel the mystery that is the giant squid. Number 6. The Vampire Squid 
Jumping from one squid to another, the vampire squid known to scientists as Vampira Toothis Infernalis looks like something that swam out of a late night science fiction movie. But in spite of its monstrous name, it is a tiny creature growing to only about six inches in length. Kind of the opposite of our previous entry. The vampire squid's body is covered with light-producing organs called photophores. This gives the little squid a very unique ability to turn itself on or off at will through a chemical process known as bioluminescence. When the photophores are off, the squid is completely invisible in the dark waters where it lives. The squid has incredible control over these light organs. It has the ability to modulate the size and intensity of the photophores to create complex patterns that can be used to disorient predators and attract prey. Not much is known about the feeding and mating habits of the vampire squid, and that's mostly because observing them in their natural habitat for a prolonged period of time is virtually impossible. So any footage of them like the one you are seeing is very valuable to scientists. Number 5. The Pacific Viper Fish The viper fish is one of the most unusual looking fish in the deep sea. It's also one of the most popular and well-known species, known as one of the fiercest predators of the deep in fact. This fish can be easily recognized by its large mouth and sharp fang-like teeth. In fact, these fangs are so large that they will not fit inside the mouth. Instead, they curve back very close to the fish's eyes. The viper fish is thought to use these sharp teeth to impale its victims by swimming at them at high speeds. Of course, that is just speculation and as like with most deep sea creatures, little is actually known about this guy. Because of the extreme depths at which they are found, very little is known about the reproductive habits of the viper fish. It is believed that they are external spawners, meaning that the female releases eggs into the water to be fertilized. Spawning probably occurs throughout the year, although the numbers of young larvae have been discovered to be the highest between January and March. These larvae are approximately 6 millimeters long when they hatch. They are left to fend for themselves until they can reach maturity. Not much is known about the lifespan of the viper fish as well, but most researchers think they live between 15 and 30 years. In captivity, they rarely live longer than a few hours. Number 4. The Taunius If you were to guess what kind of animal this is, I bet the word squid is going to be the first thing that comes to mind. Yes, my friends, the Taunius is a squid. A glass squid, to be more specific, for very obvious reasons. Although it comprises only three recognized species, it has been suggested there may be as many as five species. Again, pure speculation as these guys are very rarely seen and much less filmed. These strange, transparent animals are typically found 300 meters below the surface, floating in the cockatoo position, which is the official name given to how these squid position their tentacles, which kind of reminds me of a kid in class wearing a dunce hat. And you know, I'm actually going to end this section with that very dated reference because frankly, so little is known about this squid, so there's really nothing much to say. Who here even remembers what a dunce hat is, actually? Number 3. The Deep Sea Dragonfish. The deep sea dragonfish, sometimes known as the scaleless dragonfish, is a ferocious predator that inhabits the deep oceans of the world. It has extremely large teeth compared to its body size, in fact. In spite of its absolutely gruesome appearance, it is a small fish, measuring only about six inches in length. There are several different species of dragonfish and are all very similar in appearance. The deep sea dragonfish lives in deep ocean waters at depths of up to 5,000 feet. Although dragonfish species are found in most oceans in the world, the deep sea dragonfish is limited mainly to the north and western Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. For many years, scientists have known about the dragonfish's photophores, which are cells that emit light. There are a couple of red photophores under each eye, and a particularly bright one at the end of the barbel under its chin, which scientists think it uses as a lure to catch its prey. What they don't know is that this fish's entire body lights up as shown in the video. Why the fish does this, well, no one knows. Clearly, further study of this amazing yet mysterious creature is required. Now it's time for the day's best pick. So if you find something on the internet that stumps you like a weird photo, send it on over to us and who knows, we might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. The Fish Pond Monster? I suppose that's actually the best name for it. Today's top pick is weird. It shows a photo of a group of fishermen trying to encircle what obviously is a monstrous fish. Some of the fishermen are even kids. Is this photo even real though? Well, not quite. The fish in the photo is quite real. It is a sturgeon which is quite a big fish, but they definitely don't grow that big. Somebody just obviously superimposed its photo smack in the middle of people trying to catch fish in a pond. 
Although, there are records of monster fish being caught in a small fishing hole like this one, which shows a huge catfish getting caught in a tiny pond. So, right fishing hole, wrong giant fish. Replace the sturgeon with a catfish and this photo might be more believable. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Deep Sea Orifish This strange looking orifish is the largest bony fish in the sea. The origin of the orifish's name is unknown, but may refer to the oar-shaped body or the long oar-like pelvic fins. Because of its long, thin shape, the oarfish is sometimes known as the ribbon fish. It is also commonly referred to as the king of herrings. They have a habit of floating near the surface of the water when they are sick or dying. Because of this, it is believed that the oarfish may be responsible for many of the legendary sightings of sea monsters and sea serpents by ancient mariners and beachgoers. Almost everything we know about the oarfish has been learned from specimens that have washed ashore on beaches or have been accidentally caught by fishermen and footage of a live one out in the wild are pretty rare, making the footage you're seeing quite invaluable. The footage you're seeing was taken by an ROV, or a remote operated vehicle, while it was exploring the depths of the Gulf of Mexico. Although it is a little hard to tell in the video, this fish is massive. These fish can reach a length of over 50 feet and weigh as much as 600 pounds. Which mysterious deep sea creature would you like to know more about? Let us know in the comment section below. Want to watch more videos about the world's mysteries? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody.